Good evening, family and friends. Today is still Thursday, April 11th, 2024. I am back with another episode. And uh, I'm glad y'all here. I'm, I'm, I really am. You know, I got a lot on my mind. I'm not going in any particular direction with this episode right here. I just want to talk to y'all for a minute. Just talk. Big Ward and his family. We just talking. Imagine we sitting out in the backyard, sitting under the tree. A couple of family members over there playing domino. A couple of family members over there playing spade. The old heads over there playing chess. A couple of youngsters over there TikToking, making TikTok videos. And we just sitting, the rest of us, we just sitting out here chopping it up, talking about the world, just talking about life, what's going on, right? And what I want y'all to do, find your nearest fishing hole where you love to fish. If you love to dance, find your little dance spot and go and dance. If you like, if you love the gym, hit the gym. If you love to travel, get out and travel right now. Don't wait. Right now. Get out and travel, dance, fish, party, visit family and friends. Get over any beef you have with anybody, any ill feelings you have towards anybody, let it go. No ill feeling, no hatred. No, I don't like that. None of that. Let that go. All that. Let it go. Whatever you love to do in this world, in this life, I want you to go do it immediately. And as much as possible. And you might say, why big war? What's going on? Y'all know what's going on. I ran is about to attack Israel in retaliation for what's going on in that region. Our country, America, United States, has already warned them. This is not a. It might happen. It is. It will. It's going to happen any day now. It's already in the intel. What that's going to lead to more instability in the world. Ukraine is on the verge of losing to Russia. So here we are, like we're the only ones that's able to help them. The arms and whatever they have is coming from us, America. Like they can't get help from nowhere else. So, we're getting together another package of billions of dollars to send to them. And the only thing that's really saving us right now, believe it or not, is the Republicans. And I'm not a Republican. I give credit where credit is due. They're blocked. They're the only reason it's being blocked right now from sending more money to Ukraine. But yet, our borders are wide open. Yet, we got a homeless crisis right here in America. We're all screwed. This is my third day working this week. Is it my third? No, my second day. This is my second day working this week. And I just got a message, I'm gonna be off again tomorrow. I'm an import-export business. Container, I think I told y'all that before. I'm the gauge, I'm the pulse of our economy. If I'm not working, the economy is not doing good. 
go fishing, take a trip, enjoy your family, something you've been wanting to do for a long time, go ahead and do it. No more procrastination, no more putting out to next year. It might not be a next year. We've heard all our life, tomorrow is not promised to anybody. Never had that held more true than today. The time we're living in right now. We've all heard that said before, tomorrow is not promised to nobody. And most of us, including myself, have taken that statement for granted. Man. It going one end out the other. I know, I know, you know, tomorrow ain't promising nobody, but hey, and we start making plans for tomorrow. Even though somebody just, we just heard tomorrow ain't promised to nobody, we still think about, I'm going to do that next week. Whatever it is I need to do, I'm going to do it next week. Tomorrow ain't promised to nobody, but I'm going to do it next month. What I have been wanting to do, I'm going to wait till next month. But tomorrow ain't promised to nobody. One year after the other. Because I'd have made plans for next year. No matter how many times I heard tomorrow ain't promised to nobody, throughout all our lives, we still made plans for next year, next two years, next five years. What well, I'm telling y'all today, on this episode, we can't do that no more. We got to take it at heart. We got to take heed to that statement now. Tomorrow is not promised to nobody. Because any day now, these fools that we have in leadership can blow everything. Can blow everything. Just like that. You can be sitting up one minute watching TV, talking to your family. The next minute you hear the sirens going off. If y'all don't know what the sirens is, I hope you never find out. Our weather don't know what it want to do. Right now, I got on short sleeve. It was cool this morning. Almost May. It's April, finna be May. We were just saying Happy New Year. I promise y'all, we were just saying Happy New Year last week. Have y'all forgotten? Couldn't have. It just happened. We were just saying Happy New Year two weeks ago. Happy New Year! Merry Christmas! A couple of weeks before that. A week before that, right? It's gonna be May. The fifth month already in the year. A couple of weeks from now. Just like that. Do y'all remember how long it took for a month to pass way back then? In the, in the olden days, how long a month took? Now we're in the fifth month, and we were just saying Happy New Year two weeks ago. That's how I feel. Y'all know what I'm saying. Not literally, but we were just saying Happy New Year, and here we are already almost in the middle of the year. Just like that. Time has sped up. I don't know if y'all feel it. I don't know if y'all sense it. Time is, is a ticking. It's like somebody said, it's time to go and wrap this thing on up. Speed it on up. It's time to wrap it up. Here in my city, we got a police chief resigning, saying he was pushed out, about to blow the whistle on the administration for being corrupt and crooked. Who would have thought? Go fishing. Take a trip. Go sit by the dock of the bay and watch the tide roll away. We are screwed. Like I told you the other day, I opened the dumpster and there's a man 
laying in the dumpster. And when he looked at me, he had this look like, would you take me out of here? Do something to me. I'm tired of being here. And we're going to send billions of dollars to Ukraine again. Let me repeat that. An American citizen quite possibly could be a disabled veteran laying in a dumpster full of trash, dumpster juice, stinking, flies, maggots. An American citizen laying in there and we about to send billions of dollars to Ukraine. Again. But we, we, we can't do nothing for him. We can't help you. He don't drug, he don't alcohol. Probably is. What them folks over there in Ukraine doing? We don't know what they doing. They're all around the world, we sending money. We don't know what they doing. We don't know what the politicians doing who getting the money, what they doing with the money. What they doing in their private life, we don't know. We ain't concerned about it. Send it over there anyway. But this man landed this dumpster. In the wealthiest country in the world. So they say. But in reality, we broke. America is broke. America is living check to check. Your check and my check. That who check the check they living off of. Your check, my check. And we out here trying to get by. Now ask them to send you some money. Can I ask them to send me some money? Mm -mm. Ukraine, Israel, anybody else? No problem. How much you need? Can I get a thousand dollars, please? Mm -mm. But we're going to tax you into oblivion. Big war. We ain't got no help for you. We can only help outsiders. But we're going to tax you in order to help them. We're screwed. We're all screwed. Trump, Biden, Obama, Bush, Clinton, Bush, Reagan, Carter, you name it. Don't none of them listen to us. None. Hate him or love him, Trump was the closest thing that listened to the people. Flawed, yes. But he listened to the people. Therefore, he got to go. They're going to be bringing up dirt on his mama pretty soon. Before they let him get back in office because he for the people. A lot of y'all too blind to see that. You stuck on the propaganda. We're screwed. When we can't even see with our own eyes what's going on right before us. We believe in the same FBI same system, same government that have been screwing us for years. We trust them. As long as they are assaulting or going after somebody we don't like. Now we trust them. Seeing how they've been doing us, throwing innocent people in jail for years. Now we trust them. They ain't making up nothing. They tell the truth. believe half of what you see, none of what you hear. However the saying goes, y'all know what I'm talking about. We just talking. Now allergies, man, these science is killing me. I can't take no more medication. I took clarity until I don't, I can't. We're screwed. So, I'm looking for the nearest crappy hole I can find. Anybody within the Mobile, Alabama, 
area that know about crappy fish and know a good honey hole, holler at your boy. I've been putting that off for the longest. I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. And some of y'all been doing the same thing about something you've been wanting to do. I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Today. If not today, ASAP. Are you going to regret it? You're going to regret not doing it. We're at a point in life right now, we can't leave nothing else on the table. Any and everything that you are able to do right now that you've been wanting to do, the only thing you shouldn't be doing right now is stuff you ain't able to do. If you're able to do it right now, do it right now. Don't put nothing else on that you're able to do today. You're supposed to make plans for tomorrow, big boy. You're supposed to you know, plan for your future. We ain't got no future. You don't have to take my word for it. Believe what you want to believe. Damn, big boy, you pessimistic. You you negative. Believe what you want to believe. Them folks are screwing us up, y'all. They ain't listening to nothing we said, nothing we wanted. They have screwed us up. We are screwed. And if you don't see that, if you can't see that, I'm sitting here. I ain't delivering my last load yet. I stopped to make this video just to talk to y'all because I'm so frustrated because we off again tomorrow. I'm a truck driver. What I'm doing off? Unheard of. Y'all remember back in the day when you heard about you can get a trucker job, you can't get nothing else. You can get quick one truck job, go get another. Y'all remember them days? Not no more. Truckers can't find work. Recession proof truckers. Work is slow. Now, all truckers, I'm not saying that. I don't know, I don't know everybody in the industry where you at, but I'm into containers. Import, export. If I'm slow, y'all ain't spending no money. If y'all ain't spending no money, eventually everybody gonna be screwed. So even if your job is doing okay right now, what I do, I told y'all earlier, what I do, feel it first. We are a red light indicator. We are the red flag, my industry. We're the red flag flying. So here I am coming to y'all, flying the red flag, warning y'all. Take heed. And this, now, if it would just happen for the last couple of weeks or whatever, I'd be like, not no big deal. You know, say a couple of trucking. Trucking has always been up and down since it's been out here. You know, a, a couple of weeks here and there, a slow period. Everybody have a slow period. But not all year for years. It's been doing this now for a past few years. Not a few weeks. Like I said for the truckers out here, man, it's always been like this. Not for years. Stead on the slip, uh, going down. If truckers are feeling it, it's only a matter of time for the rest of y'all. Pretty soon, all the people gonna be busy are the morticians. The only people that gonna have plenty of work are the morticians. And first responders. I'm not a prophet. I don't play one on TV. I'm not trying to scare nobody. I'm just talking to my family in the backyard. I just pull up, we in the backyard, like I, we just sitting here talking, playing domino, playing cards, playing chess, and the rest of us, we just talking. What's going on, y'all? We screwed. No matter who you are, you may be doing good right now, a bank full of money. That money gonna mean nothing when you look over there in the horizon and you see a mushroom cloud. Some fool then got in his feeling and said, let's get it popping. You got $20 million in the bank. You look over there in the horizon while you laying up on your yacht, sipping Don sipping Perry on whatever the hell y'all rich folk be drinking. And you look over there, you see a mushroom cloud 
and you be like, oh my God, I can't believe they just did that. Now your money is useless. That's where we at. That's where we at right now, people. So when I say go fishing or whatever it is you've been wanting to do that you're still putting out to next year, next month, whatever, do it now if you're able. But you ain't got to. Do what you want to do. Don't say I ain't tell you. Don't say you ain't never heard of no one before. Or you can just talk it off with this big war crazy. He's just trying to get some views. Whatever you want to call it. I know what I'm going to do. If y'all know what some good crappy fish in that, you know about crappy fish and hit me. Big water at myyahoo.com. I want to go catch some crappie. I'll pay for it. As long as you know where it's at. If you got a boat, whatever, I'll pay for it. Gas, everything. Bait, whatever. I'll pay for it. It'll even pay you. ASAP. Big water at myyahoo.com. If you're in the Mobile, Alabama area, or if you're within 100 miles, whatever, hit your ball up. Let's go fishing. Y'all can do whatever y'all want to do. I did tell you. Get it? Got it? Good. Bye.